Hi, I'm Sheila Long, Omera Executive Editor with Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's Betting Insights. I'm excited to introduce you to Dr. Joe Betts. He's with the International Chiropractors Association. And through that association, they have a partnership with Emily USA to um, produce mattresses, design mattresses to help spinal health. Hi, Dr. Betts. Hi, glad to be here today. Thanks for joining me. So let's hop right in and talk spinal health and sleep and why it matters and all of those fun things. We have a lot of retail sales associates who are fortunate to have conversations with consumers every day about their sleep and how their sleep is. And um, some of them may or may not know why spinal alignment matters when you sleep. So what does it mean? Why does it matter? Why should we care? Well, I think everybody knows how important good sleep is. It really is like a pillar of health. Um, and, and when we, we when we go to school as as chiropractors, we learn different pillars of health, and and a good night of sleep is is one of those, along with things like diet and exercise. And so, having a good night's sleep is is extremely important. And there's a lot of things that go into it. We understand that, but as chiropractors, we obviously focus on the spine and alignment. And that's one of the important features of a good night's sleep. If if you're on an old mattress or a mattress that's unsupportive, your spine might get bent into an awkward position. And those joints get pinched. And then you wake up at night and end up tossing and turning and not getting a good night's sleep. So that's that's one of the important things about a, a good supportive mattress. That sounds painful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have a lot of conversations about sleep and sleep positions and sleep posture as I'm hopping around different showrooms and retail stores, Um, side, stomach, back, you know, everybody's got their favorite. Um, I love the stomach sleep position. That's just my thing. I think, you know, we all have it. Um, In your practice, is there a position that you recommend to your patients? and, And is there one that's better than others for people's health and sleep? Yeah, you know, haven't haven't been in practice for twenty some years. I've had a few of those conversations with patients over the years. It's it's one of the more common things that comes up actually as a question for us because a lot of people, you know, they wake up with back pain and they don't sleep well, and and they know it has uh, uh, you know something to do with their mattress and alignment. Um, but a lot of times it is a position they're sleeping in. Um, like you mentioned, stomach sleeping. Um, that's unfortunately for you one of the bad positions. Um, we recommend generally trying to sleep on the side, um, either one of your sides or your back. Uh, those positions allow you to be in a reasonably normal position during the night so that your spine's not all twisted and contorted out of place. You know, if you sleep on your stomach, you have to twist your head in order to be able to breathe. And that's just not good for the neck long term. A lot of people, um, as they, you know, get older, they lose their ability to sleep on their stomach because their necks get stiffer and they can't turn them as easy or as far. And so a lot of people, you know, they end up um, having to break those habits just out of necessity. Um, but yeah, stomach sleeping is the no-no. Um, sleeping on the side, sleeping on the back, those are the good positions. Okay, so we need some coaching. I, I, I'm convinced, you know, when I was a baby, I slept on my stomach. Now you put babies to sleep on their back. So I I, I blame my parents for that. But how, how do you retrain old, I mean, how do you break old habits, right? How do you retrain and learn to sleep in a more spine healthy position? Yeah, that's a hard one for people. Um, anybody trying to break, especially the stomach sleepers, I don't know why. I, I think it goes back, you know, they have the, the habit for decades, maybe back to childhood even. And it's it's a hard habit to break. And, and the one thing that I work on with patients is trying to teach them that, you know, I guess practice will lead to doing it the right way. And by that, I mean, when you lay down to go to bed, lay there, force yourself to lay on your back, even if you don't like it, lay there for 15 minutes and try to rest And then after 15 minutes, if you're not falling asleep, turn over on your stomach, go to sleep. And then keep doing that every single day. And eventually what will happen is you'll start getting used to sleeping on your back or laying on your back. And then eventually you'll be able to fall asleep and doze off. And and hopefully you'll you'll stay on your back or your sides longer. So that's how I usually try to approach it. It's not an easy short fix, huh? It isn't. Um, I wish there was a quick, easy solution. I wish we could just say, stop sleeping on your, on your stomach and it just happens. But unfortunately it is a really hard habit to break. All right. I'll have to try and 
see what happens. Um, <laughs> are there other aspects of sleep and spinal care that you recommend Retail Sales Association incorporate into their sales conversations with consumers when they're shopping for mattresses? Yeah, you know, I think sometimes the ancillary things to a mattress are are very important too. So, you know, the mattress itself obviously is is paramount um, in importance and supporting the person. Um, but things like pillows um, are, are extremely important and, and having the right pillow for a person based upon what position they sleep in and maybe what body size they are. Um, for me, I'm a side sleeper. And so when I sleep on my side, I'm a broad guy. Okay, I'm 6'3 and, and 240. So when I lay on my side, I need a big pillow to hold my head up. So if I had a little skinny pillow, my head would fall over and, and cause me problems. So pillow sometimes can be a really important thing, I think, for a sales associate to focus on and at least have a discussion with uh, the customer and try to get them, you know, leaning towards uh, the right pillow to help their neck. Oh, and that's a nice add-on sale, too. So retailers always like to build those tickets. Um, and there are great pillows on the market that can help them do that. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know if consumers... Your average consumer takes into account the importance of a pillow in their sleep process. Not, not unless they're having lots of neck pain. Then, then they'll blame it on their pillow. But it is a really important part of good sleep and a good night's sleep. Very cool. So do you have any other advice to our retail sales associates who are looking to enhance their conversations for healthy sleep with consumers? Well, you know, I think one thing a lot of times... Um, People will go into a store because they come into my office with back pain when they're sleeping. And so they'll go into a store with back pain when they're sleeping. And, and sometimes they expect um, a mattress is going to fix all their problems. Um, and sometimes like they come into my office and they expect a chiropractic adjustment is going to fix all their problems. And usually it's a it's a group effort um, to try to help people with those issues. And so I think if they think out of the box a little bit and make sure a customer's eyes are open to the idea that maybe they have a, a back problem, they might also need to get checked. Um, and obviously I'm a little biased. I'd recommend getting a check by a chiropractor. Um, but yeah, get it their spine checked if they're having issues. Um, and, you know, of course, have a, a proper supportive mattress. Um, I think if you start thinking in that world, um, it might help people a little more. Very nice. I think we're out of time for today. We will carry on this conversation next time I see you at a market somewhere. Um, but I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, I'm Sheila Long O'Mara, Executive Editor with Furniture Today. Thanks for tuning in.